As a specialist and technology leader, you can rely on us as your dependable and competent partner for consulting, planning and construction in challenging subsoil environments. Using state-of-the-art technologies, we will realize your project safely and economically. Our team of experts will devise tailor-made design solutions for the needs of each individual project, catering to a wide variety of subsoil conditions and site scenarios. Frankie piles are primarily used where good quality load-bearing soil types are located deep below the surface and where high load-bearing capacities are required. These piles can be utilized as deep foundation elements for all kinds of construction projects, such as bridges, wind turbines and industrial buildings. They can also be used as geothermal energy piles. Frankie piles are displacement piles. They do not produce borehole cuttings, thus saving on disposal and transport costs. Frankie piles can also be used in contaminated soils. We use a pile plan to manufacture our Frankie piles. Level, moisture-free working surfaces offer the best conditions for rapid production and adherence to the manufacturing tolerances. Individual attachment points are measured digitally and marked out with the use of a round bar. The pile driver travels across the construction site with a walking chassis, not requiring chains or wheels. This type of movement and the wide supporting feet help protect the work surface. The walking chassis approaches the pile attachment point. The driving pipe is then positioned over the center of the marked out attachment points with the inclined angle of the leader being checked for correctness. The driving pipe is then sealed at the bottom with a watertight plug made of dry concrete or gravel and sand. A free-falling drop hammer inside in the pipe casing strikes the watertight plug from a low drop height, compacting it in the first one to two meters, driving the tube into the earth. The driving pipe itself is then rammed in. The pile driving performance, measured in blows per meter, is a measure of the load-bearing capacity of the soil and plays a key role in determining the required volume of the pile base. The drop hammer works inside the pipe, thus minimizing noise levels. Once the target depth has been reached, the plug is expelled by increasing the impact of the blows while simultaneously withdrawing the pipe. A small section of the pipe is then rammed back in. Small amounts of slightly moist concrete are added and the base is created by continuing the ramming motion while extracting the pipe. The pile base will bear a large proportion of the pile load. The next step is to install a reinforcement cage. Ready mixed concrete is then gradually poured in and the driving pipe is slowly extracted. The pile heads are capped after excavation and placement of a concrete binding. Capping the pile heads exposes the reinforcement connection for the base slab. If the surrounding soil does not offer sufficient load-bearing capacity at the planned insertion depth, pre-compacted gravel can be used to improve the soil before constructing the pile base. This involves tamping gravel above and below and above the pile insertion depth. Frankie piles are designed and manufactured in accordance with German and European standards, Eurocode 7, and the recommendations of the piles working group. This, combined with individually coordinated quality control procedures, provides you with the certainty of reliably tested execution of inserted pile construction. The subsoil surveyor may request trial piles prior to the construction in order to match the pile system to the prevailing soil conditions. We can usually provide references from comparable soil conditions from our extensive archive of test loads. This saves the client costs and time while providing the same degree of security. The key data generated in the course of manufacturing the piles is recorded in a pile log and subsequently checked by the construction supervisor. The equipment used, pile attachment points, ready mixed concrete and reinforcement cages are regularly checked against quality control inspection plans and checklists. After the pile heads have been exposed and capped, we recommend carrying out an integrity test on at least 10% of the finished piles. These integrity test measurements are used to check the quality and geometry of the piles. Our experienced personnel are happy to implement a fully functional Frankie Pile system on your construction site.